Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Ignite 2024 Unpacked. I'm Rob Stretch, a Managing Director with theCUBE Research. One of the things we're really unpacking this week is the technology ecosystem and how organizations are looking to take advantage of AI and Azure to really build new applications on their corporate data. To help me unpack this, is I am, I'm excited to have Varun Chabra, who's the SVP of Product Marketing for Dell Technologies. Welcome, Varun. Rob, thanks for having me. It's great yeah. to see you. Yeah, and long time no see. Just, you know, you had your analyst day a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yes. Analyst days, uh, you know, we got to it's see some to see behind the, yeah, it was a lot yeah. of great stuff behind the scenes. But uh, one of the things that was striking there is that you guys have had, obviously, a long working relationship with Microsoft, but, you know, yeah. Dell is simplifying AI workload deployment and management on Microsoft Azure. Why don't you kind of help or you know help the people watching understand what you're working together, especially when it comes to that AI deployment? Absolutely, Rob. So, you know, as you mentioned, AI is on the, the tip of everybody's tongue, right, in the IT space. So no surprise that there's a lot of innovation there at Ignite and, and the announcements we're making with Microsoft there. The other place that we've got uh, a lot of announcements to cover as well as in the, the other thing that usually comes up when you talk to CIOs is security and data protection. So like you said, let's cover the, the AI portion first. So, uh, you know, last year we announced an offer. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that we get asked by customers a lot last year was, hey, I'm, I'm using uh, your, your file storage, your power scale file storage on-prem for my high performance workloads, for my AI kind of demanding file workloads, how do I take advantage of the same performance and scale heuristics on, on cloud and specifically on, on Azure workloads where, where some you know, customers have some data in Azure, some data on-prem. So last year we had announced the Azure file storage, Apex file storage for, uh, for Microsoft Azure. And uh, what we're doing this year with our announcement in, in Ignite is listening to customer feedback in the space we're providing a big enhancements to enhancement to the Apex file storage for Microsoft Azure offer. We're basically introducing a, a Dell managed version of the offer. So this we believe will be a cornerstone for AI driven workloads on Azure, bringing that, that, that managed capability, the managed advanced file services that customers are looking for, for their data in Azure to be able to run demanding uh, you know, analytics workflows, HPC workflows, AI workflows, on top of that data, that file data that's sitting, or unstructured data that's sitting in Azure. Uh, and, and really what this offer is, it's basically a fully native, uh, fully Azure native offer that has unified billing support, uh, unified billing and support from, from Azure and managed by Dell. So customers can instantly provision the, you know, the right performance that they need. They can scale as they need, both scale performance or capacity through the Azure portal just like they would for an Azure uh, Azure service. And it brings that, that uh, power scale file capabilities to customers that are running their workflows on Azure. So it's really optimized for fast, uh, efficient data processing. It has support for bi-directional movement of data between on-prem and cloud and, and back between cloud and on-prem. And, and really the thing that it, it, it meets the need for in the Azure ecosystem is the need for a high performance a uh, file uh, file storage platform with all the enterprise data services that customers are looking to to Dell for. Yeah, no, I, I think that to me makes a lot of sense because as we know, you know, when think I can't remember whose stat it is, but it's like one percent of corporate data is really in LLMs, and so yeah. you've got to bring yeah. the data to the AI in some cases, or the AI to the data. But what what other services are being introduced to support that custom AI solutions? for Microsoft Copilot and Azure in particular. Yeah, you, you said it, Rob. What we hear from customers in, and on their AI journey, uh, and we have been hearing for the last two years, is that clearly the interest is there. Clearly people love the, the, the technology innovation that's being rolled out, but often what we find, and I'm sure Rob, you see this as well, for enterprises, a big roadblock comes before the technology. It's around optimizing uh, or aligning strategy internally with different stakeholders, all of whom have different you know, agendas and priorities. How do you think through what could be, in some cases, like hundreds of use cases, potential use cases, how do you pick the, the ones that are going to deliver the fastest value? How do you bring your data to bear, et cetera, et cetera? 
So professional services and advisory are really, really important part of the puzzle is what we found. And customers are looking to Dell professional services for help um, and, and looking to Dell be, for help beyond just the technology innovation. So for that, we've been, we've been rolling out a lot of different professional services in the AI space over the last couple of years. And what we're doing at Ignite is no different. So we've got three new professional services that we're rolling out. There's the implementation services for Microsoft Azure AI. So for example, for customers that are looking to take advantage of Azure AI capabilities on-prem through Azure Stack HCI, uh, you know, as, as, as you know, Microsoft provides that Azure AI services both on-prem as well as uh, in the cloud. So customers that are looking to take advantage of, uh, of Azure Stack HCI capabilities with Azure AI services, um, the implementation services that we're announcing really help customers get access to Dell experts who will work with them to select one of their use cases, develop a market ready prototype, uh, think through you know, what are the responsible applications using the AI services, what out of the box capabilities can they use, how do they customize. Uh, Dell has experts really available to help customers with that. The second service is, as you alluded to, is, is really aligned with the other area where, where Azure is, or Microsoft rather is putting a lot of focus in around um, AI innovation, it's with their Copilot Plus PCs. So we've got accelerator services for Copilot Plus PCs uh, that streamline adoption of these AI powered PCs that are coming into the market. They provide tailored implementation plans, help optimize workflows for customers and help them enable kind of future ready capabilities as they, as they start to think about rolling out Copilot Plus PCs in their, um, in their uh, amongst their workforce. And then finally, the third service is, is really attacking that the third area of, of uh, Microsoft innovation around AI, which is around Copilots, right? So we have services now that we're announcing for Microsoft Copilot Studio, as well as for Azure AI Studio. And again, the idea here is to really provide uh, our experience and expertise, our Dell experts who really understand and have had a lot of ad pads with de deploying workflows on, on Copilot Studio, as well as Azure AI Studio, um, and help customers develop and deploy these, these custom or bespoke AI solutions that really address their unique workflows and help them take advantage of their proprietary data and their strategic goals in there. So if I take a step back then, we're, we're bringing to market, continue to bring to market AI capabilities like the ones that we're, we're delivering with uh, Apex file storage uh, for Azure, along with professional services uh, for customers to take advantage of Copilot Plus capabilities, uh, or quick Copilot Plus PCs, I should say, Microsoft Copilot capabilities, as well as Azure AI capabilities on-prem with Azure Stack HCI. Yeah, no, I, I think that to me, it makes total sense to bring the two together or all three together and the services, because again, finding people who have experience with this is, is like, you know, a needle in a haystack. Uh, from that perspective. Right. So bringing all of these services to bear, uh, I know I, I also liked, even with the all the Copilot uh, plus uh, AI PC thing, I mean, to me, uh, the way that Dell looks at it as tier one and tier two applications, tier one being right. something like Copilot, uh, it makes total sense, and especially with the hardware there to take advantage of it is just that's right. Killer. Yeah. Uh, Thinking through what, what you can deploy on a, on a device versus in, in the cloud, et cetera. All of those yeah. are, you know, the innovation in the space is so fast, Rob, as you know, that uh, what, we're, what we're getting asked for most often is help and guidance based on our experience of deploying so many of these, uh, these AI applications across, uh, across different industries and different geos. Yeah, so let's kind of uh, take a little different tact because uh, mm -hmm. some of the stuff you kind of mentioned, uh, some of the Apex stuff, but you know, Dell Apex protection services are yeah. really you know, being brought to organizations to help them enhance cybersecurity and cyber resilience okay. on Azure. How does that really work for customers and what, what have you seen there? You know, uh, uh, what's amazing to me, Rob, is that, or maybe not amazing, but just remarkable is that with all the noise that 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 is with AI in this space today, um, if you still if you look at you know all the the latest and greatest uh, surveys around what what keeps CIOs up at night, it's it's cybersecurity, right? Uh, you know the the given how digital every business is today, businesses can be brought to their knees through cyber attacks and ransomware attacks, etc. So not surprisingly. This this continues to remain um, and remains uh, as a really really top issue for our customers. So to help them with that, 
We have, as you mentioned, the Dell Apex Protection Services for Azure. And basically what it does is it delivers enterprise, enterprise grade protection uh, for customers, for their data, but has a unique focus on resilience, right? We all know that it's, um, no matter how protected you are, you're still always vulnerable to ransomware attacks and cybersecurity attacks. So in addition to fortifying your, your estate, it's also really important to think about resilience when that attack does happen, right? So with Azure, uh, with Apex Protection Services for Microsoft Azure, what customers get are uh, secure storage. So there's multiple layers of zero trust security built into it, data immutability, encryption, uh, multi-factor authentication, and RBAC. There's also a cyber vault that secures any critical data that customers mark off as such off the attack surface, you know, air gap, provide that capability to customers to be able to really uh, put their really sensitive data in a cyber vault. And then finally, uh, cyber vault analytics that, that leverage AI intrinsically to deliver superior threat detection, uh, be able to isolate attacks when they happen before anybody else can detect them, and then assist with recovery uh, you know, helping uh, using AI to help understand what's what's clean data, what's what data has been affected, et cetera, et cetera, and be able to help assist with recovery as soon as possible, so that our customers' businesses are not uh, impacted. And all of this is done with you know zero trust security architecture built throughout, as I mentioned, AI-driven detection and recovery. And then this is also like the file storage offer that I talked about is a managed offer by Dell. So Dell, you know, is is managing this offer on behalf of the customers. We work closely with Microsoft Azure's team to deliver a native service, which simplifies adoption and ensures robust production uh, protection of of um, you know customers' data assets. And and you know this builds on what has already uh, been a, a pretty big business for us. We have you know over ten exabytes of customer data that's protected in Azure today uh, using our protection services capabilities, wow. and it delivers a really, really fast uh, time to recovery. Right? So 80% time to recovery is what we, 80% less time spent on, on recovery compared to uh, you know, other solutions that are out there. So this is building on you know, a lot of customer deployments, a lot of experience with customers in Azure protecting you know, 10 exabytes of data. Yeah, and I, I think you're also talking about some new security features and services that are helping customers align with these industry standards. I know my favorite one seems to be Dora uh, at, that started in France, but not the Explorer, <laughs> but the, the, the you know, resiliency uh, yeah. directive for the EU and stuff. What, what's going yeah. on with these new features and, and services that you're offering? Yeah, so just like we did with AI, Rob, uh, you know, it's, it's important to pair cybersecurity technology offers with, with guidance, know-how experts uh, to be able to help, excuse me, align business processes to take advantage of these new capabilities and, and stay abreast with what is a pretty quickly evolving landscape. So we've got, just like in the AI space, we've got some uh, professional services here to complement our, our technology footprint with customers. So the first one is the managed detection and response with the Microsoft De Defender XDR service. It's kind of mouthful, but it provides access to a team uh, of experts, a certified security experts within Dell that leverage, uh, that know how to leverage AI-based capabilities to help our customers look at their security posture, strengthen it, and then help them ex address kind of any issues that come up as part of the, uh, the assessment. And the end goal here is to really help customers get end-to-end -end threat monitoring capabilities be able to look across multiple vendors for compatibility uh, and, and provide that expert guidance for rapid detection, response, and recovery. So that's one uh, professional services offer. The other one is, 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 is really built around uh, evolving Department of Defense re uh, requirements. So we're, we've got a new service for uh, called cybersecurity model maturity or maturity model certification. So CMMC alignment for Microsoft. So this is a new key new requirement based on a new requirement from the Department of Defense. And what this the CMMC alignment capability provides for customers is helping them organize uh, you know, their, their compliance capabilities, their readiness by identifying gaps, building remediation strategies, and then delivering actionable roadmaps that can align you know, um, Department of Defense contractors or other, other organizations that work with Department of Defense and have to then align with the CMMC capabilities. So, these offerings you know, are really built to help organizations maintain a robust security posture 
but then also simplifying their compliance and managing the risk in a most more most uh, efficient way possible. Yeah, no, I, I think if you can do stuff for the DOD, you're uh, doing pretty good in, in that space, to put it mildly. So, so yeah. final question here is, you know, it, again, we, we've talked about it before, you know, the Apex Cloud Platform for Microsoft Azure, it's been out there for yeah. a bit. Uh, how's it going? What's up with it? Yeah, it's a great, great question. We're seeing a lot of momentum with this offer. We announced it last year, and, and you know, it's uh, the first premier solution for Microsoft Azure Stack HCI which obviously brings the Azure experience on-prem. And what we're so excited about is the joint work that we've been doing with Microsoft. Um, it, it provides, you know, the, the Apex Cloud platform for Microsoft Azure really provides the fastest time to value for the Azure hybrid cloud deployments that customers are looking to do. It has the deepest levels of in, in engineering integration with Microsoft for Azure Stack HCI, and really provides this kind of end-to-end -end hardware software solution that includes lifecycle management, allows customers to really simplify the deployment and management of, of their Azure Stack HCI environment. And we're just seeing so much interest and excitement from customers in this. They are seeing a lot of value in the, the joint integration that we have. Obviously, Rob, as you as you know, Azure Stack HCI is an area that, that sees a lot of interest from customers and what customers are really asking us for and what we believe the Apex Cloud Platform for Microsoft Azure delivers is that um, superior experience that comes with joint engineering work and joint in integration um, between uh, our hardware, our software kind of management capabilities, as well as Microsoft's Azure Stack uh, capabilities, all packaged together in one uh, uniform platform. So very, very excited about the customer um, momentum there and excited, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of customers talking about it at, at Ignite as well. I, I'm sure, given given the, the the landscape for HCI and for uh, virtual machines and Kubernetes and everything else that's going on, uh, it absolutely makes total sense. So, hey, thanks Varun for coming on board. This has been really thanks, exciting. I, I again uh, love love the direction you guys are going in, and uh, glad to get this update. Always always a pleasure to talk to you, Rob. Thanks so much. And thank you for watching Microsoft Ignite 2024 Unpacked. Stay tuned for more on theCUBE, the leader in tech news and analysis.